While you roll your eyes at Sony's plea to crowdfund a smartwatch, you probably missed the X-ray pill for your colon, the European Space Agency's new rover, and the drone that can carry a human. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where being gone on vacation felt as awesome as a huge bin of these. An Israeli biotech firm has developed an X-ray pill to check for colon cancer. It works in tandem with a disposable patch worn on the lower back. The patient swallows the pill, and as it passes through the digestive tract, the pill emits X-rays that bounce off the walls of the intestines like tiny radioactive sonar. It's going through human entrail trials in Europe now, nothing yet in the U.S. Now you are swallowing a mildly radioactive pill the size of a multivitamin, but don't worry, it's the same amount you'd get going through TSA scanners anyhow. Which also feels like this. <laughs> okay, stay with me here. The European Space Agency is launching a new rover on Earth, but the pilot will be on the International Space Station. ESA astronaut Andreas Mogensen will control the rover back in the Netherlands with the first ever orbital real-time force feedback link. He'll basically be able to feel his way through securing a tiny pin to an operations task board with the bot's arms. And when you move it, you can actually control robotic arms as intuitively as you would control your own arm. The end goal is to develop a robot that can explore Mars and even be used to construct a base on the far side of the moon. Yeah, it's another drone video, but this might be the best one we've seen of one that can actually lift a human. It's called the Swarm and has 54 counter-rotation propellers, six grouped control channels, and Hobby King stabilization. It can stay up there for 10 minutes, just long enough to imagine all sorts of terrible accidents with that umbrella-shaped thing protecting your head. I'll stick with my own aerial vehicle, thanks. And finally, Super Mario wasn't the only Nintendo star to get an unreal makeover. Superfan Michael Urich took two months to create this homage to Zelda. That's all the weird for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.